Welcome everyone to another Let's Play World of Warcraft. Today we are going to Orgrimmar the Barons and we're going to deal with some water elementals at the coast that are causing some trouble. And I just noticed here's an NPC that we forgot that also hey, has a quest. Hey handsome, welcome back. You wouldn't mind running around another errand, would you? I'd be ever so grateful. I hear you headed off to the shore east of here. The beach is filled with crashed uh, ships and those ships have gnomish tools in them. Aha, uh -huh, so they are gnomish to tools. That's great. Uh, tools that I can use. See you soon, Beefcake. What? What kind of nickname does she give me? I'm Beefcake now? Alright. <laughs> Obtain four sets of gnomish tools. Why am I being called uh, Beefcake? Do I look that beefy? I mean... I'm quite muscular and huge, so... I don't know. I'm <laughs> getting a weird nickname here. Oh, we have no more health stones. Let's let's make some. <laughs> I think it looks so cool when I'm like casting this, right? Ah, scorpions. Only two more levels and we can finally use a mount. Super excited. And oh shit, someone of us lived here. There's like a orcish house. Ah, there are the sea elementals, and there are the gnomish tools. Oh no. They're injured uh, grunts. Nice. Let's pick up those tools. It's an interesting tools box. It's crazy what Deathwing did, like how he actually changed so much of the landscape. And they are foaming, I guess they were pretty shaken by it too. <laughs> I can't fight any longer. <gasps> Let's go in and look what's what's going on here. Can we can we help you, injured Razor Hill Grunt? You've got to help us, the elementals, they're stronger than they look and they come in waves. They took us completely by surprise and we are overcome. Many of my fellow grunts lay dying uh, on the beach. If you could save them, I would be graceful as would Garthog back in Razor Hill. Rescue four injured Razor Hill grunts. Alright, I'll do that. I'll save your comrades. Okay, one is uh, over there, how do you see it? And this one is following me now. Does this one fight as well? You fight well, I will leave you now. Loktar Oga. <laughs> she was afraid or something of the fight. I mean, they're injured. They should just go back. For the war chief, you lead, I will follow. You still want to fight? Okay, first mission accomplished. He will say something, I'm pretty sure now. Not fighting. Alright, I'm helping you. I was supposed to die in battle. Uh, well, another day. I will follow you until I recover. Holy shit, how many injured ones are here? place is filled with those. I wonder if there's actually a timer. If you don't help them timely, they're actually going to die. There's another one. Let's go there. Okay, this one's the same line. Ah, there's one more. Help me. I can't fight any longer. I feel much better now for the Horde. Yeah, for the Horde! only worth uh, seven copper like the other day by the way um, I checked out a clip of someone that recreated Ogrima with Unreal Engine 5 
And I think it looked so sick. Like, I really, really love the graphics there. And I'm, like, wondering if one day we actually perhaps really get a World of Warcraft 2 with such graphics. Yo, that would be so sick. Like, imagine, like, how the shipwrecks would look like. Those palm trees, the elementals and stuff. With, like, Unreal Engine 5 graphics, at least. Would be even more crazy, because I believe that by then, when they even start, like... Uh, I don't think the next three, four years they will start the development of a World of Warcraft 2. But if they sign like, let's say, four years from now, maybe by then there's even Unreal Engine 6. <laughs> that would be even more crazy. Like, the graphics would be super, super 4K. But the computer requirements would be insane as well, so... Yeah. It's time for... Players to soon upgrade their computer. Like the new gen, new gen graphics are nice. Like stuff becomes in gaming more and more realistic. Like we saw this with Hogwarts Legacy already. So. Oh wow, but that's crazy. There is the sea, and one p part of the ship even one even here managed to get that far from it. It's almost crashed into this building here. Holy shit. It's not too far from this. Oh, those scorpions again. Yo, they annoy me so much, I swear. <laughs> like the other day, they kept chasing us constantly too. But it's Holy shit, they have this kind of range? How far? They come from all the way over there to here. This is insane. <laughs> That's fascinating. Alright, let's turn the quest in and then we are going to Ogrima. I will also set my hearthstone there. Wait, what did she say? Has my knight in shining armor returned? Holy shit, she has like a real crush on me or something. Maybe she talks to every person like that. You really know how to treat a girl. You know that if you ever need anything. Yo, that's, that's a strange NPC right there. You could be my mom, like, come on. You could literally be my mom. I mean, if I was a half goblin or so. <laughs> like, she's way too old. Oh, sweetie, I just remembered. My very good friend uh, Thonk works in the guard tower on that cliff just to the northwest of Razor Hill. He said something about a river overflowing. Lots of work to be done and so on. Uh, I wasn't really paying attention. I was staring into those deep brown eyes of his. Yo, she, she, has a, she floats everyone. Uh, what we can't see other people. OMG. Report to Thonk on the guard town northwest of Razor. Well, okay, she just has a screw loose or something, I guess. <laughs> um, where must we turn this, this this one quest in? Oh, it was here. At this bunker here. Zook Zook. What does actually Zook Zook mean? Blood and thunder. Storming the beaches. The scent of the sea hangs about you, Kogro. Your efforts may have purchased another day for Razor Hill. I will pass word um, of your deeds up my chain of command. You have my gratitude. Nice. I've already spoken with several orcs uh, that have returned from the beach. All of them told me that you were the one who saved them. You've done a noble task today, Kogro. Loktar Ogar for the horde. Strength. Strength and honor. Alright, let's go to Ogrima first and then we're going to this uh, tower. What do you need? Uh, meets to Ogrima. I have a delivery to make. Uh, you need to get somewhere first, then you're talking to the right orc. You have to get this meat to Ogrima? That is no problem. For a small fee, my Windrider can take you there. Uh, for just a few cones, uh, I will have a Windrider bring you to Ogrima. When you get there, you can take Grimtag's meats to Grishka. Her inn is in the Valley of Strength. Speak with me again when you are ready for the journey. Buy a Windrider to Ogrima from the Windrider Master Burok. Alright. Be safe. Speak, friend. Let's go. May your blades never die.
Wow. I wonder why we are flying here, not uh, above. <laughs> oh shit, he was a war or something. So many destroyed wagons. It's funny how Ogrima changed from uh, the classic, the vanilla era to like modern WoW retail. From what I've read according to the law, like the, the, the goblins are responsible for the changes, right? I still maybe prefer, like Ogrima is nice, but maybe I still prefer Stormwind. Does it look so, so pretty there, right? Eh? Alright, um... Where was it? Oh, here's the elevator. Let's go. Is it coming? Yes, it is. Perfect. I have the trade channel deactivated. Okay, I need to deactivate it. Like, it's always spam, uh, spammed here in the, the trade channel with like freaking um, M plus carries and stuff for gold. I feel like the market must be so huge for that, like selling uh, raids and, and freaking M plus runs and stuff. I mean, if some people have like a lot of gold to spend, they really want the Keystone Master and stuff achievement, right? Yeah. That's a nice one. What, what is this one? Cinder Main Charger. How, how do I get this one, by the way? Cinder Main Charger. Oh, recruit a friend. Hey, I have to invite someone and I get a cool mount. Can this one actually fly? Well, that would be cool. Alright, anyway, uh, we are here to deliver the meat, so let's quickly go to the inn. Okay, here it is. Something smells good. You don't have raw meat on you, do you? Oh, I do. Oh, wonderful. Those are fine cards. <laughs> These are from Grim Tech, are they? That orc sure knows his way into a lady's heart. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to cook it, but not uh, too much. Meat is best served rare, don't you think? Uh, I I think medium is fine, not rare. <laughs> I've written a letter to a letter of thanks to Grimtech. Will you deliver it for me? If you've already been to the Razor Hill and spoken with their Windrider Master, then you can fly a Windrider back there. Take my letter to Doras, the Windrider Master of Ogrima, and speak with him about the transport uh, to Razor Hill. Bring Grishka's letter to Doras in Ogrima. Farewell. Farewell. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, wow. So, yeah, what is your favorite city in World of Warcraft? Let me know in the comment section. For me, it's probably Stormwind, I would say. I really like Stormwind. But Ogrima isn't that bad. I also like Thunderbluff a lot, actually. Like, I love this kind of tribal feeling I get. That it's like Native American kind of feeling there. It's really nice with those tents and stuff. I like the area a lot of Thunderbluff. And yeah, by the way, guys, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more MMO content. And there will definitely be way more Let's Plays coming soon, so be prepared for that. What kind of name is this? Bullshifter. <laughs> Bullshifter. So bullshit and shifter mixed together. Bullshifter. I mean, he's shapeshifting because he's a freaking druid. What a name. Lokta. Like, the naming is getting more interesting here by year well, because, like, a lot of good names are already taken, right? So people have to come up with, like, even more crazy names. Do you need one of my Wind Riders? You have to get this to Razor Hill and Durota. Yes, I can get you there. My Wind Riders are trained to fly to many different places, as long as you have already been to that place and spoken with the Wind Rider Master there. You have been to Razor Hill and spoken to their Windrider Master, Burok, so now you can fly directly to him from here. Once you're at Razor Hill, you can deliver Grishka's letter to Grimtak. Or Grimtak. Uh, speak uh, with me when you're ready to go. Buy a Windrider to Razor Hill from the Windrider Master. Dabu. Dabu. That's probably to create shade, right? 
those kind of carpets. I mean, we are in the hot desert, so. Can't wait to get to the barrens and like this thunder bluff area. Like I remember how I used to quest there on a torrent. This was so fun. Oh, now we are flying above. It's interesting. So the way there is at the bottom. So this kind of path here. And the way back is on top of it. Dabu. All right. Um, where must we go now? Oh, it's the tower. Let's quickly turn that letter in here and then we go on top. How's my inventory looking? Mm, a little bit of space is still left. What do you need? Return to Razor Hill. Have you returned from Ogrima? Did Grishka uh, like the meat I sent her? Oh, she was very, very happy. Ha, I guess she liked it. Nothing brings red to a lady's cheek uh, like a big juicy steak. Yo, if you could actually win a woman's heart that way, life would be easy, right? Uh, thank you, Kogro. You've done me a great service. Here's some money for your trouble and don't be surprised if I invite you to my wedding. Oh, I, I see what's going on. So he likes actually the, the innkeeper and is trying to... Oh, shit, guys. We forgot to make this our home in Ogrima. I completely forgot about it because I was so so caught up in the errand. For the horde. Okay, we're later doing this with Ogrima. I mean, we have already Razor Hill as a home. It's fine, it's fine. We maybe need to come back here anyway for a quest or something that we do then. If we turn it in, we can just fast travel back to Razor Hill. But shit, we forgot to, to make this in our home. Thonk is waiting for you at the top of the tower, Warlock. Oh, he knows I'm coming? How does he know that? Maybe he watched me from the top. Thunk. Speak, friend. Gail sent you. Did she say anything about me? The recent cataclysmic events have done more than uh, wash a few boats onto our shore, Warlock. The South Fair River has overflowed. and Durotar's entire western basin is now flooded. Oh yeah, definitely ruined the land. There are still people out there. I've been searching for a while, but haven't been able to find anything. <coughs> Would you mind using my telescope and taking a look for yourself? Use Dong's spyglass to search for survivors in the South Ferry watershed. Right. Alright, so let's do it. Yeah, holy shit. Why is it still not green though? Oh, I mean, it's, it starts to turn a bit green, so. Okay, there's first survivor. That's good. He's screaming, maybe in agony. See what else we find. Oh no. This house is completely underwater. Who knows if anyone even survived? How often can I actually do this? Like, I think three, four times. Okay, that's good. This house seems intact. Person's also still alive. That's beautiful. Oh, okay, so that's like a pig farm or something. Look, I misclicked by accident. Okay, let's see. I think the barons will be our next zone, by the way. I thought of going there first and then maybe to Stone Town Mountains or something. Okay, this troll is alive. Troll hall. 
I see, so the trick is that you need to put the little end of the spyglass up to your eye. OMG, you see that dump? He didn't know that? I remember that piece of information. You better do. My post is here on the tower, Kogro, and I cannot leave it. I need uh, someone to go out there and help the people who are still trapped in the river's overflow. Can I count on you? Sure. Go forth to victory. Go forth to victory. Let's go and help those people. They are in need of help. And we are so close to level 10. What does that mean? We will have a mount soon. Yeah. Can't wait for that. So we are so slow right now. Um, by the way, guys, um, what should we go for professions wise? I thought about like, maybe going herbalism and maybe like alchemy because that would like fit a lot right to, to warlock, right? Yeah, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe herbalism and alchemy and they go well together because you need herbalism for alchemy. Oh, stop. Leave me. Leave me be. In a way, it's actually good that water is here in the desert. We have this kind of oasis. Like, I feel like in the years to come, this will be a nice place. Maybe a lot of green. Funny is that the Deathwing's attack actually improved some zones. Some zones. There were actually zones that were like a desert. And they're now more green and stuff. So even though the Cataclysm was, for the majority, a bad thing, there are still a few good things about it. Today marks the anniversary of my son Kron's uh, passing. As long as I refuse to admit it, I recognize now Kron is not returning from this crocolis hunt. I've been working on a project, something that will memorialize Kron's passion for the hunt. Holy shit, so, so a crocodile actually ended, ended him. It's a crocolis tooth necklace. Rose and rows of teeth suitable to be won by only the bravest young orc. I will place it on his grave. Kron was brave, but he was uh, not strong like you. How do you know I'm strong? You just met me. Uh, will you bring me the teeth for my necklace? Obtain 250 crocolis teeth. <gasps> Holy shit, but we are getting a back. That's good. May your blade never die. I mean, we do get multiple thieves per crocodile, right? Or do I have to kill 250? That would be insane. But I'm positive this quest will, will, will get us to 10. Ah. Strange, I don't see any crocodile yet. Where are those crocodiles? Oh, there they are. Is this one bugged? He's like under the earth. Okay, that's a bugged one. Don't tell me I'm bugged now too, stuck forever in combat. It's too far away. Still too far away. F fighting a crocodile in his element, the water, holy shit. Okay, 30. Yeah, we're gonna have this done quick. Just a few. Oh, this one even 35. Imagine the, the Razor main, they became like a playable race. You can play as like boar people on the hot side. Like I actually saw a couple of races that could make it to a, like a new allied race. And aren't they a bit smart too? I mean they have like mages and stuff, right? Those boar people. Oh, there are more. And once we hit level 10, we can also do the quest for the Void Walker, right? And get like a new pet. 
Was Void Walker is good for leveling because it freaking tanks for you. I, f I feel like from like most of the classes. Yeah, like maybe Warlock is like the easiest to level with solo actually because of the Void Walker. Because this, this can really tank. I feel like Hunter and Warlock are like the ones. If you're not like the super best player and you're like new to the game. And you want to have like an easy time leveling. I, I would recommend like Warlock and Hunter. Because your pets are literally going to tank for you while you deal DPS. It's like so easy to play. Paladin is also nice because you can like freaking self heal and stuff a lot, right? So, yeah, probably those three are the most beginner friendly ones. Is that one bugged? Probably need just one more if we're lucky. Oh, not again. Now should we report this bug? Crocodiles in uh, Durota get stuck under the ground and they become immortal. Ah, uh, now he comes out of the ground. Are you kidding me? Wait, hold up one second. Maybe we can actually also get under the, the map. It came from here, right? Okay, no, we can't. Never mind. I thought there was like some sort of invisible wall. Like imagine we can freaking glitch ourselves through there and then we see some some unfinished uh, old school project or zone. Like so, so some hidden area in WoW. It's actually funny, it's in Elder Scrolls Online. I was once with like my, my guildmate somewhere and there was like this, this kind of mountain. And there was like one, one corner and if you press your character through that, you're actually entering some sort of invisible wall. And there was like a whole hidden zone that they wanted to make a future expansion. And what's funny is like uh, a few years later, this actually became an expansion and we had a look at it before it was released. <gasps> we didn't get caught of course, so. Nobody got bent, but yeah, you have to be sometimes careful with that. Some companies they don't take those little journeys lightly. <laughs> Strength and honor. Kron will be remembered. Uh, thank you, Orc. I will get to work on the necklace right away. Before Kron died, I had uh, made this for him to wear. I've no use for it now, but perhaps you might. <gasps> okay, guys. Uh, not only do we have an upgrade now. We can go now to freaking Ogrima. We are already near anyway. And we can learn how to ride. And we can finally set our home there. Void Walker. We need a quest for that, right? Oh, we don't need a quest for that. Okay. Let's use this one. It's way easier to quest with. <laughs> Imagine there was an untalent actually. Oh yeah, and by the way, let's go for demonology. Imagine there was actually like a, a, a talent. <gasps> we can summon imps. Uh, that lets you have two pets. Not just on... I mean, you can have two pets, of course, on uh, a hunter. But on a warlock, two pets. Permanently. That would be nice. Because everything, even this hand of Gul'dan, yeah, sure we get white imps, but they only last for a couple of seconds. Oh, are you kidding me? Let's summon a small army of imps. Ah, oh, I love it. Everything will be so much more fun from now on. Let's also kill this one. What's this? Venom Splash.
then we are going to help those two as well. I think those are because of Siege of Ogrima there, right? Those catapults, I think. What's actually the, 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 the set for Siege of Ogrima? Is that a good looking one? I'll probably try to get this one. I really like the look of this. I think this one looks nice on the Org, right? Tomb of Sargeras. That's also not too horrible. Oh. Do I have the mythic one? Shit, the mythic one is so great. Siege of Ogrima. So normal gives you this. What's mythic? Hmm. I kind of like the shoulders. The helmet looks too massive though. For the Horde! One thing is interesting about goblins, like goblins are very smart because of the casual might, right? But what actually happens if they lose it? Like they will become dumb over time, right? Like gnomes are always smart, but goblins they need to consume freaking crystals to stay smart. I can't wait. Um, oh, we are using our new mount. By the way, I have some crazy good news for you guys. So, I finally have Void Talent of the Dark Star. Yes, I finally uh, discovered a portal in Draenor. So now we have this cool mount as well. Maybe you can use that. Alright. Apprentice riding. Holy shit. Giddy up. It's at our home point as well. And I'll probably go for this one. Oh yeah, look at this beautiful mount here. Ah! Okay, I messed up. Don't tell me I have to wait now for eternity for it to come back. I mean, I could just jump. I'm not sure if I would take too much fall damage. Shit, we have to wait. That mount right there, whew. it took me days to actually find a portal. I wish this one was a flying mount. The only flying mount that we have that looks sort of like this is, is the, the, the corrupted firehawk, right? Ah, this one's also really nice. <laughs> They have like the same effect I've just noticed. This kind of like fire sparkles or what they are. Let's quickly set our home. Uh, no, that's the the freaking auction house. Okay, here's the inn. What can I do? Make this in my home, please. Nice. Valley of Strength is now your new home. I was just talking about goblins and how they are smart because of casual might. And here's one goblin. Loktar. Alright, let's help uh, Zentaji. And here's a quest we have to turn in. And one we can pick up. Uh... The Dranish Blockade. You're the one who handed the Burning Blade to the south. I've got ears in all kinds of places, boy. The words travel fast. The flood to the southwest wiped out one of the few Burning Blade camps that still pockmarks uh, Durota. This one was led by a goblin named Fizzle Darkclaw, and believe me, we're better off without him. 
I'd imagine he look a little more waterlogged by the time you get to him. <laughs> Dark Law ever did possess an orb that the horde is interested in procuring. Who knows why? I leave that to the warlocks. All I know is that I need that orb. Obtain Fizzle's orb from Fizzle, Dark Law, and Thunder Ridge. Go, Thunder down under. Our army needs water, and luckily the elements gave us plenty of that when the cataclysm hit. The water that filled up the canyon to the southwest should do the trick. Unfortunately, the corpses of thunder lizards still sit at the bottom of the canyon, and their electrical discharges are a bit too dangerous. Holy shit. I've got grunts that can lift them out of the water, but we need someone agile enough to attach the other end of the rope. Are you my man, Corgro? Attach a mage with tether to aid round thunder lizards in thunder ridge. For the horde. Oh Strength man. And honor. My associate here has some plans for you that I don't agree with. His actions are hasty, uncontrolled and irresponsible. You may end up paying for them with your life. Um, before you work with Gore, first listen to the tale that I have to tell. It's a moralistic uh, story, a fable, but I believe its lesson will prove valuable. Speak to me when you're ready. Hear the moral of Shin Stone Pillar's story. Holy shit, what, what kind of thing he has to tell me about his, his comrade? <laughs> okay, uh, can you tell me your fable, Shin? For the horde. One day the wolf was very hungry, so he ran east to look for some food. Okay. And then? So I have to run now or what to there? All right, we're gonna run there for the food. <laughs> what a quest. Speed things up. The wolf found scorpion, scorpion me too bitter. Okay. I mean, everyone has their own taste and I'm pretty sure it's not delicious. He scoured the sands of Durota, hunting for his prey. The wolf was lazy and didn't want to work for his meal. How dare he. The wolf had grown uh, tired of eating boar meat. The wolf was lazy and didn't want to work for his meal. Then, clever as he was, the wolf decided to wait for one to defeat the other. That is really uh, smart. The wolf approached and tried to eat it. And then what? Swiftly... What the... The remain called to angry the wolf's impetuousness swiftly killed the wolf before he made uh, before he had a chance to eat. I'm dead. What the heck? Oh, wow. The moral of the story: hasty, lazy actions have ruinous results. We mustn't take shortcuts. We must work for our rewards. Okay, that's an interesting moral. I actually like that what he's saying here. That's like a life lesson that we are learning here, right? I've been trying to tell this story to the Enforcer, but I fear his house scream worshipping skull is a little bit too thick. Strength. What do you need? Ignoring the warnings. Ignore the shaman soldier. Certain powers that be within the heart demand that I keep him with me. But I assure you that thrall loving Farsia truly sees no further than the borders of this heart. Elementals war against one another to the west of here. I normally wouldn't mind, but I need that land clear to secure a broader shipping route and from the barons. The elementals are normally quite strong, but they are weakened by their attacks against one another. Use this knowledge to destroy them. Destroy 12 warring elementals. You may slay either furious earth gods or teeming water gods. Nice, okay. So we have to slay elementals now. Let's slay the elementals, let's go. It's nearby. Can't wait for the the leak, like what we're gonna get with like the new expansion. Apparently it's a dragon expansion, so I'm super super excited. Maybe we're gonna see the dragon flight again. And here they are, our victims. <clears throat> oh no. 
those scorpions again i think we are cursed or something like we always get attacked by those freaking scorpions That's so cool. Now we have an army of demons. What was that? Holy shit. That just surprised me. more let's take those two out mission accomplished let's go back what is my pet's name clat clat juke clat juke what a name maybe i will rename that one i can't pronounce that even clat juke So cool is like actually my mount really fits my pet when you look at the color. I mean then again it's a freaking void walker and it's a void talent. I think this mount looks actually best on our shadow priest. Wait, there was like one mount that also looks really nice on me. Where was this? Uh this was also not bad. <laughs> I got this one also not too long ago. I was lucky in January it finally spawned. Ignoring the warning. See, the shaman's tales are nothing but uh, that. Hilagling's bedtime stories. The new heart takes what it wants and doesn't uh, waste time with such frivolity. If you get a chance, I recommend you tell Shin and those like him not to waste any more of your time. Does he have anything to say about that? Things used to be so much better. What happened to us? <laughs> that's, that's his response to that. Holy shit, man. But anyway guys, that's it for today's episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you guys are new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. Like soon I will release another Let's Play episode. It's gonna be fun. The next time we're going to help them and we're gonna go to a new zone. I'll go to the Barrens and, and level there and quest there some more. So yeah, have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time.